popmonday.com tips and tricks. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some tips and tricks that can help you in managing your work more easily in monday.com. So we all know monday.com is such a comprehensive platform that allows you to create so much detail within your work. But it can be a bit overwhelming when you have so much to do and so little time. So there are some tips and tricks that you can actually deploy that can help you in managing your work a bit easily. Now for that, firstly, I always recommend to categorize your work in folders on Monday. To do that, you can just log on to your dashboard and then on your workspace, you can click on these three dots. You'll see you have the ability to edit your workspace as well as sort your workspace. And then below that, you also have this blue icon from where you can click on folder. Now, a folder in itself is not going to have any space. You can just categorize different folders by different types of work. So let's say everything marketing related could be put under this particular folder. And if you just click on the folder, it's not going to show you anything. It just creates a space where you can categorize different boards that you have created. It could be a board, document, dashboard, or even form that you could place within a folder. Now, another really important thing to do with monday.com to make it easier is to view a filtered view. So for example, if I'm taking a look at these project assessments over here, instead of going through the main view, it can be really difficult for me to find the information that I want to know. So instead, I can click on filter over here and I can filter this board by anything. So you can go on ahead and apply a filter. You can also filter the board by the person so I can see what is assigned to what person as well as view the hidden columns. You also have the ability to add conditional coloring, pin certain columns that are important as well as remove default item values. Now another thing you can do on monday.com is create a recurring task. To do that, you can click on add column and you can take any task that you might have. So whatever task it is, you can open that task up. And then from here, whenever you have a particular task, you can set a due date for that task to be a recurring due date. So you can go on ahead and add, uh, add a um, recurring date. So I'll add a date over here. And then from here, I can set this date up. Now, once you set a particular date up, you can use a simple integration to actually create this to be recurring. You can also add a particular time for this as well. Now, another way that you can simplify your work with monday.com is shortcuts. Now, shortcuts are super underrated on monday.com. You can easily access them by clicking on your profile on the top right. Once you do click on your profile, you're going to find this section called Explore and under Explore, you have shortcuts. Now, once you open up these, you will find a cheat sheet for all of these shortcuts available by default on monday.com. This allows you to create items, close items and manage items super easily. And this is going to be customized depending on your device. So if you're using Mac, they are going to be different versus if you're using Windows, monday.com will display the one that is relevant to you in your shortcuts tab. Now, other than that, you can easily switch between boards with these shortcuts as well as minimize your distracting notifications. And one of the primary reasons why developers use project management softwares like monday.com is to ensure their focus and productivity. And it can be really hard if you are always receiving notifications. So you can go on ahead and click on this bell icon on the top right. Then you can click on the top three dots and then click on settings. Once you click on settings, you can alter the settings for your notifications. So you can choose to enable certain desktop notifications as well as turn off certain notifications. So let's say you don't want to be notified anytime you get a reaction. You don't want to be notified or any automation. 
you don't want to be notified for any highlights so you can choose that and customize the type of notifications that you are going to receive on monday.com now another really great thing you can do with monday is sync your items to your google calendar now you can do this in a really simple way you can just open up any particular board and within that board or within that workspace you have your settings now in your settings for a board we're just gonna add that we should be able to find our administrative settings and then after that you can go into connections and over here you're going to see your connections but we can't see our google calendar here so for that we can explore our app marketplace and search for google over here and now you can click on the google calendar sync you can install this application to build a two-way connection between your google calendar and monday.com so when you are setting up your appointments or setting up any particular type of commitment you can sync that with your google calendar and ensure that you are available for that particular task now another really great feature with monday.com is bulk editing so you can update multiple tasks simultaneously using monday.com for example if i go into my pitch list and i have um both of these tasks and I have to update them, I can select them by selecting both of these from the left. Once I do that, I can go on ahead and move them towards a particular group. So let's say I want to move them into the confirmed group. And although these are just two tasks, this is excessively helpful when you are trying to work with bulk tasks. So if you're working on, you know, a hundred tiny different tasks, you don't want to manually have to uh, move every individual task from one group to the next you can just select them and then move them all together with these bulk editing tools now another really great thing is that you can update your work as well as link to other integration other tools with simple integrations you can link to things like gmail slack zoom and monday.com has several applications for all different types of marketing tools of management tools scheduling tools that can help you in ensuring your work is done to add any type of integration just click on integrate on the top and from here you will find different integrations recommended integrations on the top that can help you in simplifying your work into just one space instead of having to manually go onto each individual app now another great thing you can do with monday is that if you're looking to get a bird's eye view of all of the tasks or all of your boards you can easily create a dashboard you can click on this plus icon and then click on dashboard and you can create a dashboard that provides summary for a particular type of board two boards so let's say i want to view my project assessments and inbound request forms uh, with the premium plan on monday you can select multiple boards at once and build a dashboard now with the dashboard you can build charts get numbers view your project progress at a glance with the battery you also can build Gantt charts, file galleries, apps, and much more to get a visual representation of your project with Monday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.